at St. Ignatius Orphanage. There exists a rebellious young boy by the name of John Rossi who identifies himself as Simon Templar. He assumes the role of a leader amongst his fellow orphans, embarking on a daring escapade to escape their current circumstances. In his bid to bid farewell to a girl named Agnes, John attempts to share a parting kiss with her. Unfortunately, their clandestine act is discovered, resulting in a tragic incident where Agnes unintentionally falls from a balcony, ultimately losing her life. Now an adult, Simon, known in the criminal underworld as the saint, utilizes Catholic saints as aliases to execute his professional thieving operation. In a daring act, he successfully pilfers a microchip from a Russian oil company. Simon strategically orchestrates the burglary during a high-profile political rally hosted by Ivan Tresiak, the billionaire oligarch and former Communist Party leader who is rallying support against Russian President Karpov. During the heist, Simon encounters Ilya, Tresiak's son, but manages to escape with the valuable microchip. Surprisingly, Tresiak himself hires Simon to steal a groundbreaking cold fusion formula, recently discovered by Emma Russell, an American electrochemist employed at Oxford University. Tresiak's scheme revolves around utilizing Emma's formula, which offers clean and affordable energy, to establish a monopoly in the energy market amidst a severe oil shortage in Russia. Adopting the alias Thomas Moore, Simon assumes the guise of a Boer traveler to charm Emma, eventually engaging in a one-night encount and seizing the incomplete formula in the aftermath. Discovering the formula's inadequacy, Tresiak dispatches Ilya and his cohorts to eliminate Simon, who narrowly manages to evade their clutches. Simon, now back in Russia, adopts the disguise of Tresiak himself to demand his rightful payment. Meanwhile, a heartbroken Emma contacts inspectors Teal and Rabineau from Scotland Yard to report the theft of her groundbreaking formula. The inspectors inform her that Simon is a wanted international thief, shedding light on his true identity. Emma manages to locate Simon in a hotel in Moscow where they are apprehended by Tresiak and subsequently manage to escape, making their way through the outskirts of the city. They find refuge with a prostitute and her family. And during their time there, they encounter Frankie, a cunning individual who offers to sell them a guide to navigate the sewers leading to the U.S. Embassy. However, upon reaching their destination, they discover Ilya and his associates lying in wait. In a selfless act, Simon sacrifices himself, allowing Emma to reach the embassy safely. Simon later escapes by setting a car's gas tank ablaze causing severe burns to Ilya before making his getaway. Simon plants a listening device in Tresiak's office and discovers his plan to sell the unfinished formula to Karpov. Tresiak intends to frame Karpov for squandering billions on an effective technology, creating political turmoil that would enable Tresiak to seize the presidency. Meanwhile, Emma completes the formula, and Simon delivers it to Dr. Lev Botvin, a well-intentioned physicist working for Tresiak. Dr. Botvin constructs a device that demonstrates the formula's efficacy. Simon manages to infiltrate the Kremlin and alerts Karpov about Tresiak's conspiracy. Unfortunately, they are apprehended by Tresiak's loyal supporters. At a massive gathering in Red Square, Tresiak accuses Karpov, but the activation of Botvin's cold fusion reactor proves the formula's validity, exposing Tresiak as a fraud. Tresiak and Ilya are subsequently arrested and revealed to be responsible for the oil shortage by hoarding vast quantities of oil beneath their mansion. After reuniting with Emma, Simon surreptitiously returns her formula and they embark on a clandestine romance. Emma unveils her groundbreaking formula to the public during a press conference, which Simon attends incognito and skillfully evades detection by Teal and Rabineau. As he drives away, he catches a news bulletin revealing a staggering $3 billion donation made to humanitarian organizations like the Red Cross, Salvation Army, and the United Nations Children's Fund. It is strongly implied that Simon, utilizing his access to Tresiak's accounts, anonymously contributed the funds and established a non-profit foundation, helmed by Dr. Botvin, dedicated to advancing cold fusion technology. If you enjoyed our movie recap, we kindly ask you to show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to our YouTube channel. Your engagement will greatly contribute to our channel's growth. Thank you for helping us on our journey.